we were all so excited when proximity sensors came to our phone. We didn't even know we needed them. Now they're coming into our cars. Welcome to Geek Beat. Cadillac is announcing some awesome new geeky technology in the cars, specifically the XTS coming out in 2012 soon. All right, so let's get into it. First up, we have the capacitive touchscreen. This is an eight inch touchscreen and it will do full multi-touch when you are in the maps. You'll be able to zoom in and out and do all that stuff you love and is intuitive to you already. Um, also, we have haptic touch feedback throughout the console up here in the touch screen as well as here to do uh, a, you know, air control and all of that volume. You're gonna really feel it. Now, what I love, love, love about this is the proximity sensor. You're used to it in your phone. Now it's in the car. You see, as soon as I get about this close, it knows I'm reaching for it and it's going to bring up the, the appropriate menu controls for what I'm in versus radio or maps or whatever you're doing. And so I love that. It's just really intuitive. It's really going to be able to allow you to uh, have more control and safely. And that's the thing. So all car manufacturers are really trying to keep you safe um, with all the technology we've got going on. We've got, you know, you're, you're texting in the cars and all of that. I'm not texting in the cars, but I know you are. <laughs> so what we have here is a little hideaway for your phone. So if you want to avoid the temptation of using your phone and allowing it to do all the work for you, read your text messages aloud to you and all of that, you're gonna be able to. Let's take a look at the controls. John P actually got a firsthand look at how they work. Okay, so let's take a look at the controls because this is a very sophisticated system and that won't do you any good if it's hard to use. But they've incorporated all the controls into one nice little joystick. Just check, take a look at that tiny little thing there. Now, one of the coolest things about this car is you can actually change the way this dash read, reads out and what it looks like. This is a 12 inch LCD screen, so we can make it look however we want to. If you take a look over here real quick, I'm gonna make this dashboard look like an entirely different car. Take a look here. Okay, let's take a look at this menu here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the little joystick and I'm gonna go back and we're gonna select different options. Here's some settings. I'm hitting in to change the, uh, to, to select an option. We're gonna go to the display layout, push the button. We can select a simple layout. We can select a balanced layout, or we can select a performance layout. Now you know performance layout is the one that I want, so let's take a look at what that does. Check out the animation on this bad boy when we hit enter. It's very cool. The dash is setting itself up, the pieces come into place, and bingo. Now that the, now that the dash is set into this mode, we can use the left and right arrows on the joystick to switch between the different modules. And, it, and the nice thing about this dash is it'll allow you to put anything you want any place on the dashboard. So it really gives you the ability to customize everything just the way you want it or the way other drivers in your household want. So you may be asking, how does all of this work? Well, we ask that ourselves. The system is actually based on a Linux OS and it's a three core processor two of which are dedicated to running Linux, one of which is dedicated to pulling information out of the car's electronic systems to feed it into all of this nice dashboard and control area that we've got. The system will also allow you to connect up to 10 different devices, and it even has four USB connectors. Now, one of the things I really liked about it was when you plug in multiple devices, it will search across all the devices for media that you've got, and it will catalog them into one big pool. So for example, let's say that you've got an iPhone and your wife has an iPhone and you both have different tastes, musically speaking, and you're gonna take a long journey. Well, normally in most cars, you'd, be, you'd, you'd have to listen to one set of a playlist or the other. Well, in this car, it finds all the music on both of them and it can randomly play between the two. Nice compromise for everybody. Now, one last little thing. You heard me say it's a Linux-based system. 
there is, well, we're speculating here that there is eventually going to be an app store. So developers will be able to build applications specifically for Cadillacs. Now I'm sure there'll be a lot of rules and we'll deal with that later. But one thing that I could imagine which would be really, really awesome is let's say that I'm about to go home for the day, I hop in the car, I hit the little voice control button and I say, go home. You could theoretically build an app that when you say go home, would maybe send a text to your wife and say, John is actually on the way home, his ETA is 30 minutes. And since he never leaves when he says he's going to, I think that would be an awesome addition. So we've got that, we've got proximity sensors, we've got a haptic touch feedback, as well as the capacitive touch screen, we've got multiple users, pretty awesome stuff. Stay tuned for more coverage from CTIA, uh, we're just beginning. <laughs> I'm Callie Lewis. Bye-bye.